Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Fish and welcome to my second quarter TBR. It was literally just yesterday that I did my first quarter TBR. I cannot believe three months has passed. This is insane. But you know what? Onwards and upwards. So this quarter, April, May, June, in Australia, it is autumn at the moment. We're going into winter. My favorite season. Today when I'm filming this it is actually rainy and gloomy outside and I think it's going to rain. It's cold. The last few days has been like rainy but humid. Not about it. I did not escape a humid country to come another humid country. I did not pay for this. I am just embracing the weather right now and I cannot wait to read a lot of cozy, fantastical, romancy literary fiction books that's what i'm in the mood this quarter which is literally everything that i read so <laughs> let's just say i'm very excited for this quarter it's going to be a very busy quarter because uni is at a full swing and this three months i have quite a few obligations we will go through but first things first i just want to say i hit 3k the other day and i just want to say thank you all so much for watching commenting subscribing and because I hit 3k, I wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys. So the way this giveaway will work is that one of you lucky ducks will be getting a book from Book Depository, a book of your choice up to the value of 30 Australian dollars. So make sure that Book Depository ships to your country. So in order for me to know that you are going to be participating in this giveaway, leave the sword emoji in the comments below and also your Instagram handle so I can contact you if you win. All the instructions will also be in the descriptions if you want to have a gander, go on ahead. But yeah, I'm excited for this giveaway. So this giveaway will run for a week from when this video is posted. I will leave the date here when it will be closed. So yeah, again, thank you all so, so much for letting me have this platform. I am eternally grateful. So let's get on with the TBR video, shall we? All right, first things first, let's go through my priorities for this quarter. I have quite a few, so let's go with my channel buddy read first. So if you don't know, I have a channel buddy read. Every month we read a book, usually it's a series. And this quarter, we're gonna be starting a new series. So from April to July, we will be doing the Dandelion series by Ken Liu, with the first book being The Grace of King. Kings by Ken Liu. I am in love with this cover. I am so glad they had this cover change. The spines all together are gonna look so beautiful and I really really hope I love this series so I can have all of them on my shelves. So in April we'll be starting with Grace of Kings. In May we will be doing The Wall of Storms and in June we'll be doing The Veiled Throne and in July we'll be doing Speaking Bones but for this quarter those are the three books that I'll be reading. For this quarter. Also I do apologize if you hear rattling, there's wind, the windows are rattling, I apologize. So for the Dandelion Dynasty I have a bunch of wonderful co-hosts. So I do have Abby from Abby Salter, Sam whose Instagram is Tome Tower which will be linked down below, Charmaine whose again Instagram will be linked down below, we have Joanna from Joanna Souza and Stephanie from Stephanie's Book First. I am so excited for these co-hosts. Some of them are the usual, some of them are new faces. I cannot wait to talk to them about The Grace of Kings and so on and so forth. So for the live show for The Grace of Kings at least will be on May 7th around 11 a.m. EST, 4 p.m. BST. This is a tentative date. If there's any changes, I will post them on the Discord, which is again linked down below if you want to join this discussion. Next, we have some Patreon things. So I run a bi-monthly book club for the David tier and the Greenbone tier. So for March and April, we will be reading Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it right but Once Ever Wolves this is a thriller. I know this takes place in Scotland. There's going to be wolves. There's a murder mystery. It's going to be such a vibe and I am very excited to get to this and discuss this with my patrons in April. So for May and June we haven't quite decided what book we want to read yet but here are the options. We have The Ivory Key, we have Bunny, we have The Thursday Murder Club, and Piranesi. So these are the options. The poll on Patreon will be up either now or soon and we will decide what we're gonna read. So one of these books will be my May and June 
read. And the next thing I have to read for each month is my green bone pick, which is the highest tier. My green bones get to recommend me a book and I put them in this little mug jar thing and each month I pick out a book and I will do an exclusive reading vlog for them spoiler or spoiler free depending on what they want and I've been doing this for a couple of months now and I've always done a little clip for them on patreon but since I'm doing a TBR video I will pick one for April and then I'll film my little clips for the other two months so let's pick the book for April shall we Let's mix them, mix them, mix them. Okay, I am going to go with this one. Let's see what this is, shall we? The Switch, which is Tara's pick. This is great because I have a lot of series and stuff on here, so a romance will be great to break this all up. Let me just grab the book. So we got The Switch by Beth O'Leary. This is a standalone romance. I know it's to do with a girl and her grandmother and they kind of switch places. So they have different lifestyles. I'm not too sure, but I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be quick and I'm excited. And I'm gonna be doing a reading vlog for this for my green bones. So thank you so much Tara for picking this for me. I am very excited to get to it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad I got the switch because I know Assassin's Apprentice is in there and I'm not quite ready to start my Realm of the Elderlings journey just yet. <laughs> but you never know, I might pick them in either May or June and I'm terrified. The last Patreon thing that I want to mention is for all my patrons and that is the Mass Along. So we have been talking about reading Sarah J Mass's backlist. I've been wanting to reread them because of, because I read Crescent City and now I just feel like rereading some of her works. So we're going to be starting with the Throne of Glass series in April. So we're going to be starting with Throne of Glass in April and then Crown of Midnight in May and in June we'll be doing Air of Fire. So I'm very excited to reread Throne of Glass. It's been so long. I think the last time I read this is when Kingdom of Ash came out and I think it was 2013, 2014, 2018. I'm not sure when it came out, just a while ago. So I am excited for my reread. And we will be having live shows at the end of each month or the beginning of the next month to discuss the book some of my patrons haven't read in the throne of glass series so i'm excited to see their thoughts and their reactions to this so if you're wanting to reread throne of glass you're more than welcome to join my patreon it'll be linked down below if you want to join all right next up is my usual abby and sam buddy read for the year and we tried green rider that didn't really work we all thought it was okay so we're moving on to a different series this time which we started last month in march and our buddy read kind of merged with another buddy read. So we have Evie, Jolene, and Sarah from Sarah Reads all doing the Seven Waters series and we're doing live shows with them. I will link all of their channels down below and also the live show for the first book which is Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. And I'm not sure if the live show has already been done or not but I will link the live show nonetheless so you guys can check it out. I absolutely loved Daughter of the Forest and I cannot wait to continue. It's a multi-generational story I believe and I read this during the Magical Readathon which I did vlog if so if you want to check out more of my thoughts. I will also link it. So that means in April I will be reading the second book in the series which is Son of the Shadows by Juliette Marillier and then in May I'll be reading the third book which is Child of the Prophecy and in June I will be reading the fourth book which is Heir of Seven Waters. I'm not too sure if we're doing live shows for all of these but I'm excited either way to be buddy reading these with Abby, Sam, Evie, Jolene, and Sarah. And finally we have Shell Space. So I have been a co-host or host for Shell Space for this year for a couple of months. So I did January and now I'm doing April. So in April, like I said, I'm the host and my co-host will be Joanna from Joanna Souza. And we picked The Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocchio. This is an adult space opera sci-fi. I'm just really excited because we're kind of following the villain in the story and I love a good villain story. So I'm very excited to read this. I know it's very dense. We'll see if I can recruit the audiobook to help me. I know Liana, Alex, all have read this series, all loved it very, very much. So I'm excited to see see if I also do love this. And also if I do love this, then I'll be reading the second and third book in May and June to be determined. 
we'll see what happens. And another thing I just want to quickly mention, I'm supposed to have read this in March, but because we had to push our live show date to the end of April, so I will be reading it towards the live show, and that is Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, which is the channel buddy read for January, February, and March. We did the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, so I'll be reading this as well in April. And spoiler alert, I'm loving the series, so I cannot wait to see the conclusion for this series. Okay, so that takes care of my priorities. Now, the next couple of books are actually inspired by Abby and Angela from Literature Science Alliance. So they do a quarterly series to focus on slash wrap up for that certain quarter and I kind of want to do that because I have been just juggling series and I don't know what to do with them so I'm kind of trying to focus on certain series if I can for that quarter. So here are the series that I want to focus for for this quarter. So the first series I want to focus on is Mistborn and I only have the Hero of Ages to finish and I'm actually reading this right now. I'm on page 134 so that's one of the series I want to focus on because I read Well of Ascension and Final Empire two years ago. Still haven't finished. I have a thing where I, I'm too scared to complete series because I, I I just don't want it to end, especially really good ones. So I'm finally getting to Hero of Ages and finishing the Mistborn trilogy. So that's one that I want to focus on. The second series I want to focus on is the Greenbone Saga. One of my favorite series. Still haven't read Jade Legacy. But I have been rereading Jade War. You can even see my bookmark there. So I want to continue my reread of Jade War and then finish Jade Legacy. I will definitely be doing a spoiler vlog for this, so you can look forward to that. I am very, very scared to finish this series. That's why I haven't finished it because I'm, I'm just, I'm terrified. <laughs> and the last series that I kind of want to focus on because I already have a lot of series in the go. Like I'm starting the Dandelion Dynasty. I'm finishing up the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I am in the middle of the Seven Water series by Juliette Marillier. And I'll be starting the Sun Eater series. So I have, I have a lot of series in the middle. So this is a maybe that I might focus on. So this series is a maybe, but the Poppy War trilogy. So I have read the Poppy War before and I want to reread it because it's been quite some time. I actually have a vlog on this, spoiler free, if you want to check out my thoughts. It'll be linked up above. And I want to continue on with The Dragon Republic and Burning God, but at least maybe reread Poppy War and then maybe the next quarter I can focus on those two. We'll see. That is the plan. At least from the three series, I will definitely be finishing Mistborn because I'm literally reading it right now. So I, at least I know that is guaranteed. Now that I've got literally 10,000 books of priorities out of the way, let's Let's add another 10,000 books in the pile <laughs> because again this quarter I'm doing Roll the Dice. So this is a TBR game that has been created by Jessie May. I'll link her channel down below. I love her and she's been doing this game for so long. The reason why I really love this game is because you still get to control what books you put on the board and the dice adds that mystery as to what book is going to be picked. So I really love this game and I'm bringing back for this quarter because last quarter I rolled 10 times so I got 10 books and of those 10 books I read four and a half which is not bad because these 10 books are literally just a kind of pile of possibilities. So if I want to break from my priorities, I can pick from this stack. I read four and a half half because one of the books I've read halfway and then I put it down just because I need to move on to a different priority, not because I wasn't liking it. So I really enjoyed that process. So we're bringing it back this quarter. So if you don't know how this game works, it's really easy. You have 12 books, depending on the dice you have. If you have just a six-sided die, you pick six books. I finally got a 12-sided die, so we'll be using that because last quarter it was a mess. I couldn't get a one because I used two six-sided die. I just got a 12-sided die this time, so it'll work. But anyway, you have 12 different genres of purpose in my case, and you put each book in those categories and you roll the dice when whatever number lands on you pick that book to read and then from that 10 books that I've selected I will move read around them and it it's great. So I'm not going to continue from the board from last quarter. I actually put back the books that I haven't read back on my shelves because I'm very much in a different mood this quarter. So I've just added some books, taken off some books because some of them I've read and stuff. So I have made a new board. So without further ado, let's just get into the rows.
I'm actually really pleased with all the books I've got because as you've seen with my priorities and stuff, it's full of fantasy and sci-fi. Well, one sci-fi, but you know what I mean. It's a lot of dense books. So I'm just really excited for this selection. So let's just go through them very quickly. So the first book that I rolled is Sorcery of Thorns. This is a YA fantasy that is to do with libraries. And our main character has to find this dangerous grimoire that has been stolen from this library. And it's a whole quest story. And I'm really excited. I've read only one Margot Rogerson book so far, which is Enchantment of Ravens. Give that two stars, did not like it. So I'm hoping this one is better, So we'll see what happens with that. Next up we have Burnt Sugar by Avni Doshi. This is a literary fiction. It's very short and I've just been really interested in this because it's just about like a relationship between a mother and daughter. I think it's like a toxic one. I'm not sure but I'm just really excited to experience this story. It's very short and I've heard mixed things about this. Some people didn't like it, some people did like it so I can't wait to see where I stand but this cover is actually really really pretty and I really like it. Next we have Plain Bad Herons by Emily M. Danforth. Again, love this cover so much. This is a thick boy. And this is one of the books that I want to read in 2020. I have a whole list and this is one of the books on that list. This is a horror thriller book, but also kind of literary fiction, I think. And I think it might go back and forth between two timelines because you have a tragic accident during the 1900s in a boarding school. And then you have the present where that tragic accident is happening again when the boarding school is reopened. And there's a secret society. I'm just loving the gothic vibes here. This will be perfect to read as I said during this wonderful autumn weather we're having. I can't wait to read this. Then we have The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker. This is another YA fantasy. Christine from The Roomy Digest absolutely loved this when she read the arc and obviously when Christine says jump I jump. So I got this. I'm very excited to read this though. Our main character is a Shinigami who is a reaper in the Japanese myth and she has to go to the goddess of death to prove herself worthy. There's monsters, death, still loving the vibe. And it's a relatively short read. So I'm excited to get to this as well. Then we have Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This is an adult sci-fi book. And I think our main character loses his memories because he was on a mission and something happened during that mission. He just can't remember. And I think he's just trying to recover those memories and we're trying to find out what happened. And I'm really excited for that because I love like that amnesia trope. And then you're trying to find out what happened to him. I'm really looking forward to this. I have the audiobook for this as well and I know the audiobook is really good. I've read The Martian before by Andy Weir and I really liked it. Didn't love it but I really liked it and I've heard wonderful wonderful things about this. Then we have Electric Idol by Katie Roberts. So this is an adult romance and it is the sequel to Neon Gods which is the first book to the Dark Olympus series I believe and this one is following Persephone's sister Psyche and it is her romance with Eros. So I'm very excited to get to this because I just need some romance in my life, especially Katie Robert. It is going to be unspeakably hot as it says on the book. The seventh book is Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. This is her latest release. This is another YA fantasy and people have said this has Venom vibes which means she has like an entity in her head telling her what to do or just speaking in her head and I just I just really like that. And from the premise, I feel like I will like this better than Jetman Ravens and Sorcery of Thorns, but we shall see. And then we have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. So just a short story time. I was waiting for one of my cousins in the city and I went to Dimmick's and I was just waiting for her. So I was just perusing, perusing the shelves. And I picked this one up at random and I just read a couple of pages for it. And I was laughing and I was like, oh my God, this is so relatable. And then I bought it because I really liked his writing style, really liked his humor and the relatability of it. So I'm really excited to get to this. I've heard a lot of people love it. Never read a Frederick Bachman. And Jesse from Jesse May actually loves Frederick Bachman and also Anxious People. And this is another adult literary 
fiction, I believe. The second last book, which is making its reappearance, which is Small Favors by Erin A. Craig. This is definitely going to have the spooky autumn vibes that I'm looking for. So we have this village which has a dark forest full of monsters and the devils and our main character has to figure out what's going on and fix it. And I'm just excited for the atmosphere of this because her first book, House of Salt and Sars, had an amazing atmosphere. So I'm excited for that here as well. This is a YA fantasy, by the way. A standalone one, I believe. And last but certainly not least is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Again, I need some romance in my life, so I'm excited for this because the last quarter I read Beach Read, The Spanish Love Deception, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and Take a Hint, Annie Brown. All of them I absolutely loved, especially The Spanish Love Deception. I loved it so much. <laughs> but anyway, I am very excited to add this to the pile of possibilities because I want to see what the hype is about. I'm really hoping I love this like everyone else, but we'll see what happens. I just know it's a STEM romance. I myself was in the STEM industry before I moved to the arts. So I'm very, very excited to see how that plays a part in this romance. All right, so those are all the books I hope to get to in April, May, and June. Those were a lot of books, I won't lie. <laughs> My priorities itself is frightening. But you know what? I am excited for all the books that I have to read this quarter because last month I've read such amazing books. So I am hoping this quarter will be the same as well. Let me know down in the comments what you're excited to read the next three months or the next month. And if any of the books that I just mentioned you loved, you didn't like, you want to get to, let me know down below. And also again, if you want to participate in the giveaway, leave the sword emoji and your Instagram handle down below as well. And if you made it to the end of the video, leave a autumn leaf emoji because autumn is upon us. Well, me, just, just me, <laughs> just the Australians. And I'm extremely excited for this weather. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. All my socials and my Patreon is linked down below if you want to check them out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Bye. Bye.